Good morning, friends. Welcome back to the channel. Hitch Hiking Yeti here once again. And today, we're going to start our journey off right here at the Carolina Beach Lake. And we're going to make a pilgrimage, you and I, today to a place called South of the Border, which lays right on the border of North Carolina and South Carolina off of Interstate 95. Now, I'm going to take a little walk and tell you why we're going there. This is pretty cool. Good morning, duckies. What a beautiful morning, right? I mean, is there anything better? Ooh, look at this. They are retreating. <laughs> I don't like those birds. They freak me out with their beaks. And right up there is some more coolness. Because a pelican at the beach is probably my favorite bird. But I love ducks too. Ducks are always awesome. This pelican. He's looking for a fish. He's looking for some breakfast. Look at him. Is he going to do it? Nah. He ain't going to do it. Sometimes you can watch them. They dive bomb. Especially out on the ocean. And I thought he was going to do that in here. But it doesn't seem to be the case. He was just teasing us. Oh well. So I thought I would come over here and say hello to the geese right here at the lake. There's quite a few of them. Look at the congregation of geese we have here on the bank. So now we can talk about why I want to go to this south of the border. The south of the border has a tower there and it's called the, I think it's called the Sombrero Tower, and it has an observation deck at the top of it. And I've been to this place many times. It has always been one of my favorite roadside attractions in south of the border ever since I was young. Because sometimes when we would be traveling with some friends, we would always drive through there on our way to Myrtle Beach. And when you would go through there at night, it would be all lit up, and it would look like this, you know, very small, lit up las vegas area because they would back then there were people everywhere this place like never slept it would just be glowing as you approached it you know after midnight we would be driving all night after work and going down there and there it would be so it's always been a place that i enjoyed visiting from time to time i actually made a video a walkthrough video of south of the border if you've never seen that video i will put a link down in the description below please go check it out it's pretty cool so the observation tower i have been told is finally operational again you can go up in the top of it and that's very exciting i'm going out today anyway so we're going to take the time to make a stop by there and see if it really is open again because in the past anytime i would go ask somebody like hey when is the tower going to be fixed they would tell me the same thing each and every time oh we got someone next week come to take a look at it and get it repaired and get it back up and running so that's been going on for over 10 years so i'm like 50 50 on this but i'm gonna be in the area so we're gonna go for it so let's go let's take a little drive that way and um keep our fingers crossed that we can go up in it and take a look around it should be cool so uh let's get to it come on friends we're here on highway 74 on our way to interstate 95 and just outside of wilmington there is this gentleman's yard that i pass on every trip to wilmington but when i'm traveling back and forth i want you to look at his yard and i want you to put in the comment section down below what you think about this man's yard because this is a roadside attraction in its own right check this out
just like that bada bing bada boom welcome to south of the border hello Pedro and up there is where we want to go to that is the sombrero tower this is exciting I'm so happy to be here so let's make our way over and uh, see what they got to say see if they let us go up oh man I hope they let us go up if I came all the way here and I do not get to go up in that tower, I'm gonna be very disappointed. But I'm feeling positive today. I think it's gonna happen. I wonder if the ram could tell me, is the tower open? I'm almost scared to walk in. Afraid I'm gonna go in there and they're gonna be like, no, nah, it's down again. Sorry. We had it working a few weeks ago. Oh, well, just like that, it's broke again. I'm serious. Elevator rides $4 each. Well, that's how it goes, right? You have an opportunity to finally cease the moment and come here and go up in the tower. It wasn't meant to be. They said they closed it like two days ago. Are you kidding me? two days ago so they don't even know they're gonna have somebody once again I got the same line they're gonna have somebody to come service it or fix it but to be honest with you do I really want to ride up into something that's tore up that often I don't know that's a thought that's a thought is that even worth it but unfortunately we made the journey today out here luckily i was going in this direction anyway so it wasn't no more than an extra 15 or 20 minutes out of my way to come down here to see it but it didn't happen but anywho thanks for watching come along with me on this journey today things don't always work out in life that's just how it is so uh maybe next time who knows but anywho if you're new to the channel go ahead and think about subscribing hopefully our future journeys will be more successful than this one <laughs> but anyway if you like today's content please give it a thumbs up if you've ever got to ride up in that thing put in the comment section down below i'd love to hear about your experience that i may never get to have but that will do it for me today from south of the border a little disappointing but oh well life goes on and so will our next adventure until next time i'm the hitchhiking yeti God. And I will see you in the next video. Y'all stay safe. Have yourself a good one. Later. Next time.